drug testing involves more than just peeing in a cup. Although for some businesses, that's what they choose to do. But drugs will also show up in your saliva or in your hair. Well, not too much in mine. Uh, anyway, there are different ways an employer can test for drugs, and you get different results. For example, a hair test typically will go back 90 days or so if you have enough hair. But the problem is hair doesn't grow that fast. It's not a hair follicle test. You're cutting the hair off at the skin. So you're, you're not going to get results for substance abuse within the last week or so, and maybe a little longer if you, if you can't get so close to the skin. Um, Urine tests can be anywhere from hours to even 30 days for marijuana, but typically you're talking two or three days of history, and it's, it's very uh, reliable urine testing. It's the, the gold standard. Then you've got saliva, actually oral fluid, they call it. Oral fluid is a really uh, efficient way to test for uh, drugs and alcohol because it's observed. You're, you don't have to worry about um, people cheating so much, you're doing it right there in front of somebody. Its window of detection is a little bit shorter than urine. Uh, it's a couple days, but it can also get a couple hours. So that if you have somebody where it's a reasonable suspicion test, there's a good chance, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna find out if somebody smoked something an hour ago, it should show up in their oral fluid test. So, these are three of the different methods of testing. Of course, there are some rapids and lab-based tests, but uh, as a basic primer, those are the detection windows. Mm -hmm.